Yeah, well, in response to that, I would say that when you say that down the road, maybe we'll have an answer to these things, that seems to me to be kind of a leap of faith, uh, the I, idea that, that down the road we can answer these things, right? Um, but again, that's probably the most frustrating thing is because I did not say that. I did not say that. The issue here is whether or not there's a God. And you're presenting an argument for, for the existence of God based on the necessity of an explanation for logic, among other things, or as a foundation for it. My response is, you haven't demonstrated that this is a necessity. You've just asserted that the absence of such, such an explanation leads to problems, but those problems presuppose that there is an explanation. There's been no demonstration that the laws of logic could have been any other way, or that there's any case that they ha that that they r need some sort of guarantor. You could basically sum this debate up to Jay saying that the transcendental argument is a valid argument that Matt doesn't understand. And he's also making a claim that Matt is denying that the transcendental argument is a valid argument. Meanwhile, Matt, wow, that's my cat clone. <laughs> Meanwhile, Matt is trying to explain to him that he's, he's not denying it. He's saying, I don't see the justification in it. I don't, it's, I don't see the justification in it as a valid argument. And please demonstrate that it is a valid argument. And Jay is coming right back and saying, <laughs> again, it is a valid argument. The problem is you don't understand the argument and you're denying that it is um, a valid argument. That's, that's really just the sticking point. I don't really have the vocabulary um, to really say this in a more articulate way. But even, but I know what I hear though. And so as I was listening in and I was kind of uh, multitasking, so sometimes that's actually the best way for me to listen because um, I get a chance to hear like the overall gist. And sometimes that's better than trying to focus in on every detail, especially when things go down a rabbit hole like this uh, debate. <laughs> but what I got from Jay basically was a very sophisticated a very sophisticated uh, example of something that we see over and over, which is somebody basically saying this argument makes sense in the realm of these assumptions or God makes sense um, if this argument is true. If this are or the other way around, if this argument is true, then it makes sense that God, this will be a part of like Jay was saying, the, the mind of God and all this kind of stuff. The problem is that's just, that's a leap right there. And uh, Jay, even though he has a uh, you know a, a decent vocabulary and that he and he's very very intelligent, I heard the same thing. It was just a really complex, sophisticated version of it of making assumptions and then saying basically if these assumptions, if these assumptions are correct then this other then this theory actually makes sense in relation to that but you've never demonstrated that that um that 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 argument or these premises actually are valid or make sense or are justified and i see that a lot too where people have arguments and they feel that those arguments are justified because it's what they believe they're basically saying it's justified because i feel that it's true and then you have the other party that's saying I don't feel that it's justified. It's not just obviously true to me or automatically true or self-evident. Please demonstrate that it is. And then the person comes right back and says, basically, if you just open your eyes or if you just understand or if you just stop denying and just accept that it's in the realm of possibilities as a, you know. And I mean, that's just a sticking point. It's, it's really hard to get around that because the two parties like Matt, uh, said here in the video, the two parties are speaking a different language and they're operating f um, with different standards even. And um, they have many times two different levels or versions of what counts as qualified evidence. So anywho, um, that's at least my <laughs> take on it. It's probably still a bit convoluted. And um, 
you know, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. So click on that, listen to the debate, and then maybe some of this mumbo jumbo I said might make more sense. But drop a line. Either way, let me know what you think. Yeah. <laughs>